This is the skull of Allosaurus, an impressive animal nonetheless, and quite possibly one of the most successful predators of the late Jurassic. Allosaurus had a bite force of 3,572 newtons, which was on par with that of wolves. The only difference being that Allosaurus was about 10 times the size of a lion, not an animal that you would have wanted to run into. It is believed that Allosaurus had a rather weak bite, but a strong skull, and a very interesting yet successful feeding strategy. Unlike T-Rex, which simply bit into its prey with its ridiculously powerful jaws, Allosaurus used its neck muscles and skull to slam head on into its prey like someone wielding a hatchet. Think about that for a sec. It would have taken its upper jaws with its teeth and slammed straight down into its prey repeatedly. Would have been a vicious way to die. Think about an animal maybe 30 feet in length and over a ton in weight with strong neck muscles, powerful jaws, and teeth two to four inches in length slamming down onto its prey and you start to get an idea of the type of predator Allosaurus must have been. A nightmarish animal of both speed and strength. For quite a large animal, Allosaurus did possess a surprisingly weak bite. But while scientists do believe it had a relatively weak bite, it more than made up for it with its rather unique hunting strategy, wielding its jaws like a hatchet and it was able to open those jaws to a 90 degree angle, unusually wide for a theropod, and use that wide open mouth of it and take the top part of its teeth and slam straight down onto its prey. While the overall jaw structure of Allosaurus was not made for crushing bones like other large meat-eating dinosaurs, Allosaurus was still able to be a true terror in its environment stalking and hunting juvenile sauropods, possibly stegosaurs, ornithopods, and any other dinosaur that might have come into its environment. It is most definitely an animal that deserves our respect, admiration, and attention. Take care.